Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to see what comes up for the month of July. So this is for July. Okay, we're going to start right here. What do we have for Capricorn for the month of July? What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Man holding heart. So man holding heart. So this guy is holding out. He's holding out. Or he may be giving his heart away to somebody, but it has to do with feelings. I consider this the King of Cups. King of Cups energy. Um... You need to be careful because, the, you know, we may have somebody here that doesn't have go, good intentions. Um, this guy hasn't given his heart away yet. It's still in his hand, okay? Um, he's thinking about it. Uh, he may be experiencing some grief, some heartache. Um, he's, he's withholding because he's holding his heart. So that could be heart pain. Okay, and it's interesting because on the bottom of the deck, I have the thinking man. Okay, so we definitely have a man here that is thinking about expressing his feelings. Okay, he's thinking about what he has to offer. He's thinking about his future. He's thinking about love. Um, but I feel like he's confused. I do feel like he's confused. I feel like he's struggling. Um, there's a feeling withdrawn. Um, not really communicating, not really uh, emotionally available. Maybe he's really close to expressing his love or, you know, commitment or something. But I, for some reason, he is still uh, thinking about it. Um, It feels like this man does have a big heart. And you I consider this the King of Cups. Like I said, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. This is somebody who is, is you know, thinking about love. Thinking about a relationship. So it's, it is definitely about love. And who who deserves, you know, his love. You know, that kind of thing. So let's see what we have here. Um... We got one came right out. Let's get a couple of these for Capricorn. Um, pin, pin, interesting. So, new job, career. So, there's going to be a new job or a new career that is starting. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. And bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. So, something is happening in your career. Okay? It is for sure. So, we got something in the career that is changing and it's going to bring you money so you may be getting a new job or something like that that pays you more money or a raise or a um, change in your title you need to increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals so I think that's what you're going to be doing is increasing your efforts and I think because you increase your efforts you're going to you're going to see an increase Okay, you increase, you get an increase. It's like a reward for your hard work. Feeling tied down or frustrated. And I think that's where you're at right now. And perhaps that's why you're going to be changing something. Um, let's see what we have here. What do we have for Capricorn? If you are a woman watching this, or, you know, if you're in a same-sex relationship or whatnot, this is a man. It doesn't say woman, okay? It says man. We have a man that is interested in you, okay? 
if you are a woman watching this, there's a man that is interested in you and he's really f having feelings for you. Uh, he's thinking about you. Um, but I think there's some sort of fear here. If you are the man that is watching this, you must be the one that has fear. Or if you're thinking about who you're going to give your heart to. There could be some heart pain as well. Because if you think about somebody holding their heart, you know, that's heart pain. Whether it's physical pain or internal pain, you know, heartache. So there is definitely some sort of heartache here. Somebody may be feeling some heartache over another person. Um, or heart pain or something like that. Um, the moon reversed. Now the light is going to be shown on a situation. This is a reality check and this is the release of fear. So it's a need to release your fear and express your feelings. The moon brings out all kinds of feelings. So it's about expressing your feelings, express, expressing the truth, not hiding your feelings. Or somebody's going to be expressing their feelings to you, okay? Um, they're going to be releasing their fear. This person has been very, very fearful, but they're going to face their fears. That's what, that's what it looks like to me. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. We have Pisces twice right here. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a cancer. Um, could be dealing with anybody. Um, but the hangman, this guy looks very, very discontent. He's definitely been thinking. The hangman is thinking a lot. Okay. Um, struggling. Struggling to let go. Struggling to uh, deal with their ego. The hangman is a card of ego. A new perspective is needing. Somebody may have, may have been trying to punish another person. Trying to prove a point. And it's time to let it go. You know, it is time to let it go. Somebody's been learning some kind of lesson. And I think they've been deceiving themselves. They've been in some sort of uh, mindset where they were choosing to, maybe they were choosing to self-medicate or to not acknowledge the truth, you know. But it feels like there's so much discontent that, and I feel that's why they're the heart there's discontent on the inside that we have somebody here that is really changing their perspective. Um, the fool reverse. A lot of fear. A lot of fear here. We have. That's why this guy hasn't been expressing himself. Fearful. Fearful of um, getting rejected. Fearful of having to tell the truth. Fearful of getting hurt you know uh we definitely have somebody here that lacks uh faith this person lacks faith in new beginnings is afraid definitely afraid um there's probably been a missed opportunity there could be some unfinished business with that fool reversed uh Nine of Cups reversed. Now, this is very dissatisfied, extremely. So we have an individual that was trying to prove a point that has been hanging on to some sort of viewpoint or stubborn grudge or something like that. Protecting, self-protection as well. This person has been very, very unhappy. Okay, very unhappy. Um, when fear has consumed them, fear of, of, uh, rejection, that's what it looks like to me. Fear of not having enough or not being enough. That's where we have the feeling tied down in this interesting, the hangman, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody is very, very, very frustrated with their current circumstances. They totally lack faith. Ooh, they may feel like this is a permanent loss. They are feeling a lot of internal disruption. That's why this man is holding his heart. We have an individual that is um, feeling, feeling some sort of internal disruption extreme and there could be some extreme health problems 
Now this tower, this is an unhappy event that is, it could be a permanent loss and it could be, it could be. This is a painful change and that's why man holding heart. Somebody is experiencing a reality check. They may have waited too long. The, the hangman may have taken too long. Okay, it's too late. That's, I mean, the hangman takes too long to think about things sometimes. And now they may be very unhappy and dissatisfied because they took too long. They may have missed, somebody has missed an opportunity um, being foolish. I mean, the fool reversed is foolish. Somebody made a foolish mistake. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And now they've experienced a perma permanent loss. That's what we have here. And they're feeling a lot of uh, internal disruption and heartache. It's heartache. Three of Swords. <laughs> it is heartache. There's your heart. That is the meaning of the card. So we definitely have an individual that you are dealing, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with that has experienced a lot, a lot of grief. They are, they're experiencing a lot of heartache. And it's because they didn't move. They didn't make a move. Okay, they were trying to prove something. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They may have been in some sort of fantasy land. These fell out, so we got to take them. Ooh, ooh, so this is definitely about a partnership. It's about a union. Somebody is feeling the pain of a separation. Okay, they are. Uh, there is somebody here that has been trying to control. This is control, and this is control. It could be dealing with Leo. Somebody has been trying to control another person. They've been enjoying the control that they have over another person. But there is going to be... There's a self-image problem here. There is. This is an unrequited love situation where uh, there's a lack of feelings for another person. This is being cheated. Somebody, somebody is very, very uh, carefree. They're very carefree. They don't, they don't care who they hurt. They don't. They don't care who they hurt. They're very selfish. We definitely have a selfish individual who didn't care who they hurt. We go from past to present over here. But I always, it, I go with my gut. Anyway, the page of cups reversed is uh, unrequited love, shattered dreams, bubble burst, uh, uh, rejection. There is a rejection here because somebody was deceptive. Somebody didn't care. They didn't care it, about, they didn't have any morals. They didn't have any conscience. You know, they acted uh, without thinking and now they're paying the price of some sort. Um, this is definitely an unfaithful, jealous individual who, um, dropped out didn't didn't follow through uh very very selfish i feel like we have an ex here as well i feel like there's an ex that enjoyed control this could be somebody that is very cowardly somebody that is um has a really 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 big ego there's we have ego right here these three cards Okay, we got the hangman, the knight of cups, and the strength card. I don't care if they're reversed or upright. We have somebody that has an extremely huge ego. Extremely. So this person is getting a reality check. Perhaps they're feeling the heartache over uh, another person falling in love, getting a new partner. This is a permanent loss. Perhaps they're seeing the truth. They're seeing it. It's, it's clear to see that somebody is falling in love. Um, and that's the pain. That's the pain of it. Um, or they're getting rejected because this is the rejection. Somebody is getting rejected. So there is definitely a rejection here because of cheating, because of deception, 
because of unfaithfulness. Because somebody wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And now it's like, it's too late. It's, it's too late. I'm not interested in a false sense of security. I'm not interested in being controlled. I'm looking for a soulmate. And I do believe that there's a real soulmate that is coming in. Okay, somebody is about to arrive that is a perfect match, right? The two of coin, the two of, why did I say coins? Two of cups. It's like the universe is bringing two people together. And these people even look alike, okay? They have a lot of similarities, okay? They look alike. Um, these people are going to see each other and have a, a a conversation all of a sudden you never saw it coming there are two people that are gonna come together these people I feel like this is going to be an interesting conversation it's gonna be a conversation that has had these people haven't grabbed the cups yet so they've never been in love this is somebody new So there's definitely somebody new coming in. These people have a lot of similarities. It's like when they look into each other's eyes, they're like, hmm. Wow. You look like me. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm, that's what I wanted to hear. I mean, that's what I wanted to say. Interesting. Now, the strength card reversed is feeling inadequate. Somebody may feel inadequate. And there's a lot of fear. I think that you're going to be presented with an opportunity to come together with somebody that is very, very, very similar to you. Or that has already happened. But there's somebody in the past that may have rejected you. Or that maybe there's, you know, twos are always about choices as well. There may be, you know, that you may be saying, you know what, it's too late. And when you, this is a universe card. So when you tell the universe, uh, what you're worth per se, that is what you get. Anyway, this is a partnership that you never saw coming. It's like, boom, boom. It's like you run right into somebody. I think you're going to run into somebody that is absolutely uh, perfect for you. And you may not, you may not even be looking, especially if you're the feminine. Neither one of these people are looking. You're not even looking and you just, you know... have a conversation with this person. Now, this is a false sense of security. That's This is a permanent loss. Somebody is realizing that they lost a love because of deception, because of cheating. And they're feeling sad. They are feeling sad. Somebody is, is building a new foundation with a new love. That's what's going to happen. And they're going to need to go into it with blind faith and let go of their fear. Because who, and this, because this person that is coming in is not the one that hurt them. This is somebody where that, you know, there's a lot of similarities. Even the hair color is the same. Ooh, nine of swords. This is nightmares. We have somebody that is having nightmares. They can't sleep. They're having a hard time sleeping. They have a lot of regrets. This guy is sleeping, but he's having bad dreams. Really bad dreams. Bleeding. And a lot of pain. That could be even, you know, I don't know what's going on, but there's, there's, you need to be careful because this is a, it, you know, there's definitely some heartache here, okay? Um, this is negative repetitive patterns as well. We have an individual who has been doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And now this person, it, it's like now you have to, you've made your bed, now you gotta lie on it. 
So that we have an individual that is having a lot of regrets for not following through, for giving up. And they are feeling a lot of pain. They're feeling the pain of the loss. It's a permanent loss. It's too late. And there is a new connection here. So yeah, there's going to be a conversation. This obstacle is being removed. Somebody is arriving. This is this is being broken free. This is a hero. Okay? Breaking somebody free. Now this is being led. This per somebody was led into um some sort of mental prison by an individual, but this is being broken free from that mental prison, from that trap. This obstacle is finally being removed. The obstacle of fear. Ah, the the uh, magician. So this is a golden opportunity for love, taking action, getting a new vision. Somebody has manifested a new love because they told the universe, they communicated with the universe that they want true love, right? They, they want true love. So they're bringing true love. And, and anyhow, somebody, this is a yes, this is the one. There, this is the one. So you, you know, I think there is a new love coming in. I think it's a very sudden entrance. This is going to uh, help somebody to break free from a, a situation where they were trapped. They were trapped in fear. They were tra trapped in fear. They were trapped in their ego as well. There's ego because ego is all about fear. Okay, ego, 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 ego is really all about fear. Somebody was letting their ego get the best of them. But there's there's an obstacle that is being removed. This It's this person that was controlling. So maybe it's the person, maybe, and maybe that's why all this pain, because there's heartache here, this pain, maybe this is the reason, because they're bringing you together with the one, the one. There's a reason why that didn't work out, because you're coming together with the one. Oh my goodness gracious. Because this is the one. It is the one. Okay. That's why that, that false foundation crumbled. That's why. Because it was based on lies. Okay. It was. It was. Anyhow. And I think the person. And it's interesting. Because when this came out. It came out like this. So, you know, I feel like there is one person that is being rejected that probably uh, cheated and wants another chance or something like that. And there's, but there's somebody else. There's somebody else. Good luck. There's going to be communication or working with somebody that is a perfect match this person has a lot of similarities a lot this is uh this is like as above so below this is what you asked for this is part of the plan this is who you manifested this is a golden opportunity to build a new foundation with somebody but it's not the person who controlled you and ah, took too long to make a move. Good luck. I feel like you're going to meet this person outside if you haven't met them already. Okay. Or you're going to have this conversation outside. You know, um, this is about freedom as well. It's freedom to choose. And I think you are going to be making a choice. And the magician is about shedding the old to bring in the new. So this is a yes. I, I want this partnership. Yes. You know. It's a yes to your question or whatever it is. 
there's definitely going to be some communication coming from the one. This person um, is very much like you. Very, 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 very much like you. It's not the coward, okay? It's not the coward that caused you all that mental turmoil. Nope. That's done and that's over. There's somebody new here. Good luck. 